HK is a firearms manufacturer. When did they start making knives? If you want one of these, you better get one now. I'll explain after the review. Or you're a stainless steel type of guy. I know I am. The overall length of the blade is about 14 and a half inches. The blade itself is nine and three quarters inches long. You are losing about an inch to the finger choil. So the cutting edge is only about eight and three quarter inches. The handle is just under five inches. The blade itself is five millimeters thick with a drop point design, slight recurve cutting edge, and a high flat grind. With that 440C covered with Cerakote, I will never have to worry about this blade resting on me. The handle material uh, is what they called Santoprene. I have no clue what that is, but it's more like a hard plastic slash rubbery type material. It is quite grippy. The handle is nice and thick at uh, one and a quarter inches. Uh, it is quite comfortable and it's super grippy, even when wet. I love this handle. The blade is a full tank construction. You can see the blade still inside the lanyard hole. Now, normally I'm not a big fan of the uh, finger choils because uh, most of the knives that comes with the finger choils uh, usually are too shallow. And then when you reach up to the blade and try to grab the choil, half the time you cut yourself. This is a finger choil done right. It's nice and deep and there's no chances of your fingers sliding forward into a blade. Perfect for carving. With that eight and three quarters of cutting edge, it makes betoning wood a whole lot easier with that much real estate. Much better than a six inch blade or under a five inch blade. This blade will become my backpacking blade. Um, I will probably take this out on my short hiking trips as well. I mean, if the situation calls for it and I need to cut through veg light vegetation, this blade is perfect for it. This blade weighed 11 ounces. I mean, compared to its high carbon counterparts, this thing, it's a featherweight. Uh, high carbon blades of this size usually weigh double and easily up to a pound. Now onto the sheath. This thing looks cheap. It's a nylon with a plastic sleeve. It almost feels like it's a generic sheath made in China. It does come with a strap and button that holds down the handle. I prefer this over noisy falco that uh, over time it does uh, wear out and tear off. There's absolutely no latching points and no drain holes. Now the plastic inside does have a, uh, two holes in it that have a soft point, but the water will still have to get through that fabric if it does need to drain. And I'm not too sure if it will drain all that quickly. But with that full coated 440C, I'm not too worried about rust. I'm just more worried about carrying extra weight if this thing fills up with water. The plus side of this sheep is that it's extremely light. Um, it does keep the weight down quite a bit, making it perfect for backpacking where every single ounce would count. Benchmade was collaborating with HK to have a huge HK blade lineup, but sadly, the HK line has been discontinued. In my opinion, this blade did not get its fair share of uh, marketing or in fact the production run. I mean this thing was only available for one year until Branchmate decided to take this off their line. It never really had time to grow in the knife community and a lot of people still don't know about this knife. It's really disappointing and sad that Branchmate discontinued their HK line and especially they no longer make this blade. For a stainless steel blade lover, this blade really does fill that large 9 inch blade in stainless gap that's dominated by carbon steels. Benchmade, if you're watching this video, please, somewhere in your lineup, 
make something similar to the HK Fate and fill this void that us stainless steel lovers have. But give us a better sheath. This thing is just garbage. Thank you guys and girls for watching another episode of Tag Reviews. If you enjoy watching my video, please hit like and subscribe. There's the link right there. And if you are interested in uh, getting more info about this blade, a link will be popping up right here. For my other night reviews, here's another link. And here. Until next time.